From surgically modified bodies to becoming a millionaire in a day business, do we even know what's real anymore? Every day we are faced with the next best thing when we're just trying to become healthier, wealthier, and happy. What the fuck is real? What the fuck is true? What the fuck are you supposed to believe about yourself and your success while trying to build something that actually lasts? Welcome to What the Fuck is Beauty Anyway, the podcast. I am your host, Jen Carrasco, founder of Raga Studio, a fitness champion, IFBB pro figure competitor, a skincare line creator, and a serial entrepreneur. Well, and I'm an overall business coach. After years of building businesses from the ground up, I am here to help you with society standards and, well, to use your beauty within to build something that is truly you and truly impactful. So, now, let's dive in. What is going on, guys? It is Jen Carrasco here again for this week's episode. So I really wanted to dive in a little bit deeper this week on pretty much kind of like manifestation and making shit work. So I know that probably many of you have had things that don't work or maybe maybe they have and you're a badass you and you know I've had several things in my life that do not work for me you know struggling towards my dreams sometimes or for instance you know I've had several things like businesses or ideas that I've had that have completely just you know failed right into my face and makes me rethink a lot of things and so I I felt today the podcast should be about how we actually manifest things into our life and we actually dive in deep and we own our shit. You know, if we want something, we we make that happen. And so let's talk a little bit more about, you know, making the shit work for you and how we do that. So let's talk about uh, taking responsibility for yourself. So... I have had so many things that I have put out there and I have put all my energy into and all my focus and it literally blows up in my face. And you would think that, oh no, uh, that never happens to Jennifer. Whatever Jennifer touches turns gold. But I have to tell you, uh, it's not fucking true. Not true at all. And so it's about taking responsibility for yourself. And if something fails, re-looking at the reason why it failed. And if you inside truly have that manifestation, that's the real deal. And you feel your integrity for that thing is 150%, then maybe something's off. Maybe something needs to be revisited. And, you know, there's many of times that I've had to revisit things. For instance, a couple of my businesses have failed. They've been great, great ideas. And I think to myself, what the fuck is wrong with you, Jennifer? This is a great idea. It can launch perfectly, but maybe inside me, I have, how do I say like baggage or I have, I'm not 110% because maybe I don't feel adequate enough to have that. Or maybe I just have my own demons to where I feel like I can never be good enough to have those things. And so even though it's a great concept and a great launch and a great you know, you have that great vision, but inside you, if you don't have that feeling and you're, you're still feeling inadequate with certain things, you're creating that life for you going forward. So even though you think everything's perfect, even having that one negative thing about, you know, what you think in your fucking head about yourself, that could damage your whole journey and your being of what you want to create. So let's, let's talk about a little bit about, uh, you know, admiring the people. So we all envision ourselves. I know, especially for myself, I look up to a lot of, a lot of people and I think to myself, man, they got their shit together. You know, they, they're constantly giving me gold nuggets. They, they have everything that they want, everything they do. Like I said, everything they touch turns gold. But honestly, as you get to know these people a little bit more, and especially in the realm, you know, I know a lot of these people and 
hearing their stories of how they have failed, you know, it, it makes me happy, not happy that they failed or that they're struggling. You know, I feel bad for them on that, on that essence, but to know that they have failed in the past and they have struggled and what they have done to overcome that, that feeds me some good shit because that makes me realize, oh, okay, we all fail. We all do these things. We all have these hurdles. These people I look up to, they're not perfect. They're human beings. They're just like me. And I take that in and actually that really inspires me to push forward and to actually do to do more and to reach out a little bit more and expand what I need to do because seeing their failures and what they've overcome to get where they are it uh it creates a lot for me to keep pushing forward so those are one things you know that I tend to I won't majority of us do we all look up to something and you know for instance we look up to uh, a bikini competitor or somebody else and we think man well she has the fucking body or he has the body but I, I can't I can't work that hard to do that so you're feeding yourself this negative bullshit which honestly if you took one baby step every single day to do something you would achieve that goal but you feed yourself that negativity that you cannot do that So why I became Jen Carrasco? It's that I had to learn along the way my inner strength, my tenacity, and the resilience and the focus and the vision that I have. And I have to be unshakable. Now, do I honestly feel that way all the time? Absolutely not. Today is actually one of those days. I woke up this morning non-motivated. Don't feel like getting on a podcast. Don't feel like talking about something yesterday that that I had uh, so much energy to talk about and so much focus. But I had to re-envision that this morning and I had to refocus and I had to rethink of, you know, what Jen Carrasco is and what my inner strength is and keep pushing forward and keep doing those things because that is what creates and embeds in your brain that focus of what you want to do. So I am proud because I am proud of myself for my staying power and my sticking to things and always never giving up. Even if I have those failures and I fall, I never get up. I get up again and I try and I try and I try again. And that is what is going to make you succeed. Those are the things. I'm not perfect by any means. Nobody else is perfect. You look at, you know, other people you look up to as your superheroes. Well, they're not fucking superheroes. They're just somebody that never gave up. So let's talk about a couple things that I do talk about with my clients. And I have clients that get stuck and they get caught in that action and that feeling of what I've been talking about, that we're not good enough or that, you know, their, I don't know, their marketing aspect or what they're doing with their brand or their product is it's not getting that fulfillment that they, that they wanted or what they achieved in their brain. And so I feel like these are things that you need to look at to switch your vision. So two things to answer. Personally, if you feel like something is not working for you, look at this. Do you believe in your big picture? Honestly, be truthful to yourself. Do you believe in your big picture of what you're selling or what you're doing? Do you believe in it? Because if you do not believe in it 100%, nobody else is going to believe in it. So for instance, my skincare products, wholeheartedly, I believe in them 150% because I know what ingredients are in there, what they do. I know the science behind it, and I will back them 150% because I truly believe in it. Now, has my skincare product online shot off to exceptional rates? No, it hasn't yet, but it will because I believe in it. You know, the same thing, can you get through today? So what I mean by that is that sometimes we don't have that focus. Like I mentioned this morning, I didn't have the focus to get on a freaking podcast this morning. I didn't want to talk about this stuff that I envisioned yesterday about talking about, but... Do you get through that day with the big picture? Meaning, do you push through that because you have that vision? You have that outcome. You have those actions. You have those feelings and it goes towards it. So the next thing is, 
if you feel something, you know, how do I say this? When things are not working, how do you envision them working? So meaning like body shit, for for instance, I have been lacking, you know, I gave myself a deadline in December. I was going to be 10 pounds to where um, my figure weight is. And you know what? I've been fucking lacking. I've been eating peanut butter and doing stupid shit and not not owning my own crap. And that's something that I have to deal with in my head and I have to be accountable for it. And I cannot succeed unless I'm accountable every single day for my actions. And so it's owning your shit. So you need to make sure that those things are working for you and to stop stop pushing it out because in your brain you think you, you can't manifest that or you're in your brain you don't think that you're worthy of it because that's really where it all lays down. It's where it all boils down is the fact that you feel that you're not worthy of something. Also, enlightenment, you know, are you enlightened by by your dreams, your goals? Do you really feel that you can get those dreams and goals and start off baby steps? You don't have to say, okay, you know, in two weeks, I'm going to be a millionaire. But, you know, have those baby steps to get you to that point to where you feel like you're going to do that. You know, whatever is not working, the first thing you need to look at is integrity and your alignment. Are you in line with your goals? Are your, is your in- integrity, whatever the fuck, integrity true to what you want to do? Because if you are not enlightened and your integrity doesn't match what, what you want, you're going to freaking kill it. You're, you're going to kill your dreams and it's not going to go forward. Another thing too is, is the price right? You need to really reevaluate yourself and reevaluate things and do you feel like the price is right? If your price is not right, you're not going to sell. So if everything is in alignment and everything is set to where uh, you feel like, you know, that's your vision, that's your alignment, you're you're 150% on board with everything, but your price isn't right, it will fucking demolish it. So really look at all of that as well. Another thing, and this is what I tell a lot of my clients all the time, um, because people tend to have full-time businesses or I'm sorry, full-time jobs with doing their side, their side gig of what their passion is, of what they want to do. And a lot of times people just need to take the lunge and get over it and push forward, but they don't because they want to feel security. My one thing is that I tell people you have to do the work. You fully have to show up and do the work. I had a call yesterday with one of my clients And it's more or less teaching how you put it in your calendar and how you put your alerts on to show up for your work and just do it and don't keep pushing it back. Because the thing is, is that if you want to reach something in your life, you have to set those goals. You have to be, you have to be fully aware. You have to be fully showing up to do what you need to do. And like I said, again, you know, we went over, do I feel worthy? That's huge. You need to feel worthy for everything that you're doing, sorting your fucking bullshit out. You need to feel worthy for what you are selling or what you want to do in your life. Another thing is, uh, say like failure. Let's go back to failure. The thing is, is that sometimes life is giving you lessons and it doesn't mean that your vision isn't, isn't, how do I say it? Your vision isn't strong enough. Your beliefs aren't strong enough. You already know where you're going to be, but for some reason you fail. And it's, it's because life is giving you a lesson, a lesson in faith. So faith, meaning that it's redirecting your faith of what you feel for something. And the thing is, is that sometimes, for instance, with my skincare clinics, you know, I've had a couple of times that they, they have failed and bailed right into my face. And if it wasn't for my faith of knowing that I can succeed with that, I wouldn't have kept going forward. And it's that faith that keeps you going forward. And honestly, now that I look back and I think to myself, I'm glad that I had these 
fucking obstacles that were extremely hard. And, but they've taught me a lot. They've taught me things now that in my future, I won't ever make those mistakes again. So feeling that is, it's just, it's actually, it's life lessons happening to get me to another point in my life to succeed. So, you know, just practicing that these things happen in faith and that you're not going to bow down and curl up in a fetal position and cry, which I cry and I go in a fetal position sometimes when things don't work out for me. But I get up and I wipe my tears off and I get over it and I keep on pushing forward. So another thing too is, you know, not living in your past. A lot of times we tend to live in our past and we live in, you know, I am definitely well aware of doing that all the time is that I live in the past of, you know, I have came down to nothing before and I don't ever want to get to that point again to where sometimes I feel that living in the past, you know, I revisit that sometimes every now and then. And it's getting that that shit out of my brain so I can focus on going forward. Let me see. I wrote all this shit down. So give me a minute because I'm going through all of it to make sure I'm going. I'm giving you guys the right direction that I feel that you would benefit from. Another, I'm just going to go back to integrity and enlightenment. Um, you know, overall time going through day to day. You know, I want to make sure that you're not on a hamster wheel. I have caught myself doing this so many freaking times is that I feel like, sorry, my phone's going off a mile a minute. People are tagging me. Anyway, I feel like I'm on a hamster wheel. I'm doing the same thing over and over and over and over and I'm busy and I'm busy and I'm working and I'm working. But realistically, sit back, close your eyes and prioritize, whatever, I can't say it, prioritize your work really think, you know, is this really going to benefit me? Or am I just keeping busy to stay busy to think that I'm actually getting ahead when I'm just doing the same shit over and over and over? Revisit things, purposely work. Stop doing the hamster wheel. Purposely work on your vision and what's going to get you forward, not just working every day to work. You know, have a purpose for it. Also, the last one that I'm going to go over, so I'm not freaking completely boring, you guys, is Did I fully get behind it? Meaning that, are you 150% behind what you want to do? Do you feel worthy? Are you energetically behind everything that you want to sell or what you're trying to achieve? Do you have values that go together alongside of this? Do you hold faith that this is going to work? Maybe you're not allowing yourself to be worthy and you do all the work, but because you don't accept it and you don't accept you're worthy, you, it doesn't work. It, it bails right in front of your face. And those are the actions and those are the things that you have to retrain your brain that these things are going to work. So I'm going to, this is totally off subject, but I'm going to give you an example. So I know that every morning I wake up at five o'clock in the morning and I do all my social media. I do everything that I need to for that day to get forward. Then I end up going to my electrical clinic at seven o'clock in the morning and I work on that and I do all of that. But now I know my my vision. So uh, my point was to get that service side up and going to where I can step back and start working on the things that I love to work on, which is this, my clinics, getting my skincare out there, doing feeds reteaching you guys coaching like that's my juju that that's what gets me going but I know that I had to do these certain things in order to get there because I need that service side running now so this morning let me tell you I feel fucking guilty hugely guilty what time is it 7 49 I'm usually in my office at seven o'clock helping everybody do their shit And I'm actually sitting here after having a cup of coffee and working since five in the morning, haven't even showered. And now I'm on my podcast and it's almost eight o'clock and I'm not in the office and I probably won't get to the office until 10. I feel guilty, but you know what? I need to sit. I need to visualize about what's going to get me forward in things. And I understand now that I've gotten that service side running to where I don't have to be there telling people what to do because they already know their jobs and they already know what they're supposed to be doing to where now I can sit back and start working on this shit to help you guys. And 
So what I'm trying to say is I'm going through my own shit in my head as well. And we all do. We're not, we're not superhumans. We just have to realize what works in our lives and what can go forward. So I know this was a bunch of rambling this morning, but I really truly feel that this is something that a lot of people don't touch on and they don't grasp around the fact that it's more of your inner self, your inner faith, your inner feeling, your your intuition that shit is going to work for you no matter what and never giving up because those are your dreams, your goals. And no matter what gets thrown at you, you can fall down, curl up, cry, but you know that you're going to get back up and you're going to keep pushing forward. So hopefully this made an impact on you guys. And I hope that uh, you guys can kick some fucking ass this week and keep going forward. With that said, have a beautiful week. Believe in yourself. Trust the process. Don't give up. Never, never give up regardless of anything. Keep pushing forward. Struggle forward towards your dream. Do not struggle backwards and live in a backward state. Backward state, whatever. I can't focus or talk properly this morning for some odd reason. But anyway, you guys get the gist. So have a great fucking week and I will talk to you guys next week. Thanks for turning in this week. I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this episode. And I hope you're feeling stronger mentally and physically and ready to kick some ass. As we navigate new society norms, business and beauty breakthroughs, make sure to always ask yourself, what the fuck is beauty to me? And know that's all that really matters. If you love this content today, make sure to subscribe, rate, and review. Follow me and get more info on how to work with me at jencarrasco.com. You can also find me on all of your favorite social media platforms. Now just remember, stay mentally tough.